Hey YouTube folks, this is Tycounter here doing another action figure review and this is for a figure line called Wu or War of Order in Pocket and it's a 1 to 18 scale full uh, scale action figure line uh, it's very similar along the lines of, well the aesthetics and the, the look of the figures are very similar along the lines of the Acid Rain figures but they're their own thing and this is the Medic Trooper so uh, uh, most of the figures in this line are all kind of robots so far there's only been one or, one or two that don't look very you know robotic and this is the from a company called Devil Toys so you see down the bottom is this copyright to 2019 Devil Toys all rights reserved and up in the corner there is a logo for Devil Toys on the packaging packaging is quite nice it is collector friendly so you can just slide the cardboard backing off, Oops, just knocked them over, um, you can slide the cardboard backing off and flipping around to the back of the box there is different uh, links here so there's a Facebook link, a Twitter link, an Instagram link and then there's a Weibo page so I'm not too familiar with Weibo and then there's a file card and it basically says remote control medic soldier codename medic birthplace providence robot factory combat gear cell regeneration gun Automated external defibrillator medic or a robot, a remote controlled robot soldier which responds for instant medication support to frontline warriors. They are programmed and commanded by the 211 or 211th uh, Frontier Medic Troops, which led by Dr. Douglas Orr. Each medic or is installed with a self explosion system which allows them not only to bring restoration but also destructions uh, there's a bit of interesting uh, wordage and uh, spelling grammatical stuff on the file card it doesn't sound quite right there's it is worded kind of interestingly and then there's a small little kind of uh, quotation at the bottom says Vital signs below 38% urgent first aid measures required. And then you have an image again of the artwork, which is really cool. So, flipping back around. Now, when I got this guy, he was missing two parts. And I reached out to Devil Toys via Facebook. Through the Facebook uh, Messenger system. And they were able to supply me with the replacement parts that I needed to fix. And redo this review. So... Before I go any further on the figure, I'm going to bring in my tape measure just to get a height on this guy. So he stands just a little under four, four and a quarter inches. He's not incredibly tall, but he's a little taller than a regular four inch figure. Uh, so he comes with a removable backpack. His web gear piece is attached to him on the box, but it's a bit loose on mine. The peg. As you can see here underneath the shoulder it tends to pop out you can remove them but it is a bit of a pain in the butt to get it back on and for accessory wise it comes with as I said the aforementioned backpack which comes with these removable defibrillator pads there's two on it one on either side it's a bit loose on mine it just tends to pop out with his backpack even though there's a peg hole in the backpack it does fit onto the back, but it does tend to pop out. Now, these are the two parts that were missing on mine when I first got it. It's the medic case and this uh, cell regeneration gun, I think it was called, or cell cell regeneration gun. So, it's kind of like a injector. He can hold it quite nicely in either hand. And he can hold the case in his hand as well. The one thing about the case is it does pop open it from the pictures I saw online it looked like you could store this inside it but it's not entirely deep enough for the lid to close properly you can kind of get it but it stays open I take the gun out you can see the lid closes a bit better but I haven't gotten maybe there's just a specific point that you have to get the thing in so it'll hold it but he can snap it over his hand and we just get it closed properly it doesn't really want to close with the uh, injector gun in it for some reason you can kind of get it to close 
but as I said, it just pops open a bit. But I did reach out to Devil Toys via Facebook to get a replacement one because it came missing it. This is going to take his backpack off because it's easier for doing the articulation. So he has a ball joint in the shoulder here. He has a joint up on the actual shoulder. So the arm can go all the way around and move hinge in and out. His head is on a ball joint. It's actually on a double joint, so it has a joint at the bottom of the base of the neck and base of the head. And you can get some good range of movement out of it. Single jointed elbows. And then you got a swivel on the wrist. And you got a hinge down on the right. And a hinge, sorry, you have a hinge down on both. I thought it was a hinge at the palm on the opposite, on the off hand. And then you have waist articulation. Your upper diaphragm crunch. You have legs can go out that much, can go forward, back that much. There is an upper thigh swivel, but it is a bit tight on mine, so I don't want to force it. And then you got a double jointed knee, a boot cut up here, and you got a swivel at the foot, and a hinge on the feet and there's no peg holes on the bottom of the feet so it is a bit annoying to get him to stand if he doesn't want to stand in but he generally doesn't seem to have too much issue standing but as I said he's very similar in long lines of the acid rain with the colouring and is in the added kind of washes of dirt and stuff like that and dirt and grime which is what the acid rain figures are kind of known for but overall he's a really cool figure uh, just for a scale comparison, because I have him handy, let me just bring in old shipwreck. It's the Dollar General version of shipwreck, so he stands a little bit around the same height as him. So, there you go guys, there's a quick video review for the Warren Pocket Medic Trooper. As I say in my videos, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Cheers guys!